Rewarding positive behavior in the school district has been an ongoing goal, so the middle schools are working together on a new system to promote positive behavior. Harsh. I'm here at one of Hempfield School District's middle schools where they're looking to implement a new behavioral rules program. Myself and Mrs. Tobias, the guidance counselor, had attended um, some meetings over at Lannisville with the guidance counselor and Mr. Dandridge, the principal there, um, at the beginning stages of creating um, this program. Core things behind the plan are to identify those core values, like I said, uh, to have consistent expectations in all the classrooms of what behaviors we'd like to see, and then, and then a, a solid plan for rewarding those good behaviors. Our first step to starting the program was all the teachers got together and they were to agree upon three to five um, behavior expectations that we would expect of all students. Based on four core values, uh, here at LMS we have be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and be engaged. We agreed upon three behaviors, safe behaviors, responsible, and respectful behaviors. So uh, we came up with a slogan called uh, We Are CMS, C, choose to be safe, M, make responsible decisions, and S, um, show respect. A key component of the plan is to uh, build in reinforcement or uh, rewards for students who are modeling good behavior. So we have uh, a lot of different incentives. We've been handing out Landisville loot this year. Um, so anytime we see students uh, engage in good behavior and then they can trade that in monthly for, uh, for a raffle. I was in history class and one of my friends needed a pencil and I gave him a pencil and the teacher Mrs. Waltz gave me one of these mm -hmm. slips and I got drawn. I got a free slushie from Turkey Hill. It's been a great year so far. Uh, when we look at our discipline data, it's only one year snapshot. So you know, I'd love to see these trends continue over time. Um, but uh, we have certainly had a uh, reduction in, uh, in the amount of referrals that are coming to the office. And people are following the rules more, so you don't have to worry about as much problems. As you can see, the new behavioral programs at Centerville and Landisville Middle School are working well for the principals, teachers, and students. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Luke Mondock.